The status bar lines the top of your dynamic display. In addition to showing you the time and the date, you also may notice helpful icons that hint at the status of features that are in use. For example, you may notice when Do Not Disturb is in use, an icon will show in this tray. Buttons that line the right and the left side of your screen can be customized. One key will already be programmed for you on the top left. This is called a line key. It will show you the status of incoming, outgoing, and held calls. The four keys that line the bottom of the display are called soft keys. These are state-based buttons, meaning that their labels will change and be relevant to whatever you're doing at the time. For example, if you're on a call, these buttons' features will change to show you things like end call, transfer, conference, and more. To mute your audio, press the mute button on the bottom right side of your phone. This will light up when it's in use. While in use, you'll be able to hear your callers, but they cannot hear you. Press this button again to disengage the feature. To use headset audio, press the headset button. This too will light up when it's in use. The speaker button is found on the bottom right of the phone set. A small glow will illuminate behind it when it's in use and you're talking to your caller hands-free. The plus and the minus sign on the bottom middle of your phone set will adjust the volume. While not on a phone call, this will adjust your ringer volume. If you're on a phone call, however, this will adjust whatever audio mode you're using at the time. For example, if you're talking to your caller on handset, this will only modify the handset volume. To make a call, pick up the handset or press speaker or headset, then dial. To dial an internal person, simply dial their extension. To dial an external party, be sure to dial one plus the 10 digit phone number. When you're receiving a call, you will see the full caller ID of whoever is calling you. To answer, pick up the phone, press speaker or press headset, depending on what your preference is. While on a phone call, you'll see the full caller ID as well as a timer indicating how long you've been speaking with the caller. If you're already on a phone call and a second call comes in, you will hear a call waiting beep and you will see the caller ID of the person that's calling you. To answer the second call and put the first caller on hold, press the answer soft key. When you press the answer key, it puts the first call on hold automatically and answers the second caller. To go between the two calls, either press the swap button or use the arrow keys to select the appropriate call, then use the appropriate soft keys to manage it. While on a phone call, there are several options available to you, the first of which is hold. Placing a call on hold puts the call into a private hold position, meaning that they will only be held on your device. To put your current call on hold, press the hold soft key beneath the live call or press the hold function key on the bottom right of the phone set. These keys can be used interchangeably. To resume a held call on your own device, press the resume soft key beneath the held call or press the hold function key. To place your call into a shared hold, which means the call can be accessed from any phone set, place the call into park. To park your live call, press the more soft key until you see the park button. Press park, then follow the prompts to park the call on either your extension or anyone else's. Calls can be parked on any valid extension in your business group. To park the call on your own extension, simply press pound. After you've parked a call, the system will repeat a message telling you that your call has been parked successfully. To retrieve the parked call from your phone or any other, pick up the handset, then press the more button until you see the retrieve soft key. After pressing retrieve, the system will walk you through retrieving the call from your extension or any other. 
To retrieve the call from your extension, press pound. To retrieve the call from a specific extension other than your own, dial the extension, then press pound. The call will then be retrieved to that phone set. While you're on a phone call, you can send your current call somewhere else by transferring them. There are two primary types of transfers, the direct and the announced. A direct transfer sends a call directly somewhere else. It's also known as a blind transfer. An announced transfer allows you to talk to the third party privately before you transfer the call to them. To perform a direct transfer, start out by pressing the transfer soft key or transfer function key on the bottom right of the phone set. After pressing transfer, input the phone number or extension of the person or place where you want to send the call to. Complete this transfer by pressing the B transfer soft key. The direct transfer will ring immediately to that third party's extension or phone number that you input. To transfer a call directly and immediately to an extension's voicemail box, use this same process but input star 90 before the receiving extension. For example, to do a direct transfer into extension 1000's voicemail box, I'll press transfer, star 90, 1000, B transfer. The process is the same. The only difference is that I will not be ringing the extension's phone before its voicemail box picks up. The second type of transfer is the announced transfer. This allows you to talk privately with the third party before you give them the caller. To perform the announced transfer, press the transfer button, then input the phone number or extension of the person you'd like to reach. Wait for the third party to answer the call. When they do, you'll be talking with them privately. After speaking with a third party, if they choose to accept the call, you can simply press transfer to complete the transaction, then hang up. While on a phone call, you can bridge in a third party to an existing call by conferencing. A conference call is simply a three-way phone call. To initiate a conference call while on a live call already, press the conference soft key, input the phone number or extension that you'd like to bridge into your call. When the third party answers, you will be speaking with them privately. To bridge them in, press conference again. If the third party is not available, press the end call key to hang up on the third party. If voicemail has been configured on your account, new messages will be indicated in the top status bar area as well as by a small red blinking indicator light on the top right of your phone set. These indicators will alert you to new voicemails. To log in to check messages, change greetings, and to do the overall management of the voicemail system, press the message button on the bottom right of the phone set. This will access the voicemail system. The redial and history buttons both access a call log directory. Press either of them to see placed, missed, or all calls that you've made recently. Use the up, down, left, right navigational keys to access the different call directories. When you've missed a call, your status bar area will notate this until you acknowledge it by looking at the missed call area in the screen. When you're done using any of the call logs, simply press the back soft key to go back to the default display. The Do Not Disturb feature can be enabled and disabled simply by pressing its soft key, labeled DND. When turned on, all incoming calls will go straight to your voicemail box. However, you can make outbound calls normally. If you'd like to populate your phone's directory, press the directory soft key. Then follow the prompts to add the contact to the directory. Be sure to input a one 
before the directory number to dial properly for outbound calls.